Hey everybody, it's Anna and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another wedding video for you guys in my wedding series, Wedding Bliss. And this one is all about how I'm gonna be asking my bridesmaids to be a part of my bridal party. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all the items that I'm putting into their boxes, as well as how I'm assembling the boxes and then how I'm going to be proposing to them. So if you are interested, then just keep on watching. So where I got my inspiration was from Pinterest, just like any other bride to be like Pinterest is your BFF because it has a lot of information and so much inspo. So I went to Pinterest and just pin, 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 pinned away what kind of boxes and items that I wanted to put into my bridesmaid boxes. And then from there, I kind of made a list of what the items I wanted to put in there and then went to shopping. So for the actual box, I actually went for a photo box, much like you probably find on Pinterest. And I chose to get a white one since it matches the theme of my wedding. So here it is, it's still in the packaging. I still haven't assembled any of them. And they were actually on sale. I got these for a dollar and I was super excited because I have five bridesmaids and I was like, that's gonna be like super expensive just getting these boxes because originally they're I think $4.99, which isn't too bad, but if you add them up, they are, but luckily they are on sale. So I definitely would look out when these are on sale and when they are, definitely smash them up because these are a great deal and these are just gonna be perfect for the boxes. So still going on with like what's gonna go outside of the box, I wanted some ribbon and since my colors are blush, white, rose gold, and hints of greenery, I knew I wanted a blush ribbon. So this is the one that I got, but I accidentally got one that's wired, which I think is going to be a problem. But for you, I would definitely recommend getting a satin one just for it to be a little bit easier to shape than this one. You would think this one's easy to shape, but it doesn't seem like it. So that's the one that I went for. And then I also got some gift tags, and these are just like the craft brown color and I thought they would make a good contrast with the ribbon and the white and the um, craft paper like brown color just because I wanted white ones but I think that would have been a, a little bit too much white so I was like I'm gonna go with these so when I saw boxes on Pinterest I saw them filled with crinkle paper and when I went to Michael's crinkle paper was kind of more on the expensive side and they didn't really have like big bags and then they were like kind of mini and one of those did not even look like they were gonna fill that box so i was like you know what i need a different alternative so what i'm planning to doing is just stuffing the bottom layer of the box with just a bunch of tissue paper and then just like crinkling it up and then like making like volume in there and then putting like one of these nicer look tissue papers these are i don't know if you guys will be able to tell but these are like scalloped and i got these from tj maxx i'm just gonna like fold them out kind of like i'm wrapping a present and then wrap it so then it looks like a little bit more full, not just like into the box, like it's kind of like midway. I will definitely show you a little demo part because I'm probably not making any sense, but I think that's gonna be a nice alternative because this was just a dollar and it comes with 24 pieces and that's gonna be more than enough for all my boxes. So here is an overview of everything that I'm going to be putting into my boxes minus one item that I forgot to include in the shot. But everything that you see is super affordable so I definitely recommend doing this for your bridesmaids because it's so much fun. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I put everything together as well as the finished product so let's get started. So here you see me crinkling up tissue paper as I was mentioning in the beginning of the video and I'm doing this simply to create volume so I can put items without sinking in but as you'll see later um, some stuff are sinking in but you can definitely go back how I did and just put more tissue paper where you think you need it for items to not sink and then I'm covering it with tissue paper to make it look nice and uniform. I will link down below my blog where I'm making another blog post and that is where I'm talking a little bit more in detail of why I picked these items for my boxes otherwise this video would be super super long but I will quickly tell you where I got everything 
the bubbly I got at my grocery store, the face max, and the candle I got at TJ Maxx. Definitely recommend TJ Maxx if you want like more unique items. I got the hand, sanitar hand sanitizer at Bath & Body Works and the chocolate at Amazon. And then the bridesmaid card I got at Target at the dollar section and then the save day card at Michaels. So now you see me that I'm just going to fold over the tissue paper just for it to look like a present and then finish it off with the lid and then you guys will see the completed look of the box in a second. And this is my maid of honors box for my sister since she is under 21 I had to switch out the drink but I know that she loves pink lemonade so I included that and then to pamper her a little bit more I included a face mist just because I know she loves them and this one smells amazing and here is the final product I am so happy with how they turned out it's simple but still chic and it was so much fun putting together and it's totally the vibe of my wedding which is what I wanted it to portray and yeah it was I just can't I just can't it's just so fun to do definitely recommend Hey guys, so I'm starting off the vlog a little bit later. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the whole setup that I have for my bridesmaid proposal and groomsmen proposal too. I am at my fiance's house and we are setting up. So I thought I'd share with you guys like the finished product and everything. So I guess I will show you guys around. This is where the bridesmaids are gonna sit. So these are all their boxes. So you can see here's how they turned out and then I made this floor arrangement and then the drinks are gonna have little straws and there's my fiance <laughs> and this is his groomsman table only three could make it their boxes some cookies that my friend made leaven it up Laureen I will link her Instagram down below and her blog and then another floor arrangement and then here we have a little drink station another little greenery arrangement that I made some iced tea infused water appetizers and this little sign that says cheers lemonade water crackers salami and cheese and that's gonna be sangria and here it's more drinks I also have this little banner up here that says she said yes and I got this from Amazon I think it looks super cute so the lighting is bad but here is the flower girls little bears that we are going to give them and we're also going to give them a little ring pop and the lighting is horrible but we're leaving them in the little boxes so they can have like a box too like the bridesmaid and the groomsmen Box and then my slides are from Old Navy. Super casual. I wanted white for 